Hi guys, PD here. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another new video. Today we're having an exclusive look at a new game from the developers who brought us Scraper, the original game. And this is called Scraper Gauntlet. And it's like a standalone game, so let's dive in. I'm playing on the Oculus Rift S, and this is on Steam. It's coming to Steam very soon. Okay, here we are on the game. I'm going to check out the options. Audio. Display. Graphic quality is on high. Gameplay. Teleport turning, smooth turning. Okay, let's jump into the uh, campaign mode. Save slot one, new session. Okay, February the 11th, 2120. Welcome to the underground facility, Operative. I'm pleased you were selected to aid me in this retrieval mission. If all goes well, then you'll be in and out without anyone noticing. This ghost town refugio was the best place for a secret lab. No unwanted visitors. I've built in an encryption system to mask any communications entering or leaving the facility. Just to make sure we aren't being monitored. Do a quick scan of the surrounding area. Okay, do we press the button? Okay, we're scanning the area. Great, we're in the clear. This lift will take you down to the lab. Use the lever to activate it, and I'll brief you during your descent. Okay, we're on a giant lift. Now, the original game has got some really positive reviews. Okay, so the game is using a teleport system. There's a really awesome view down there. Okay, let's activate the lift. We are here to retrieve vital blueprint schematics for a secret weapon I've been designing. This weapon could prove vital in combating the humics. So we need to retrieve the weapon blueprint and upload it to the Human Resistance Force Network. Cypher's promise to help humanity has caused more Humix to riot. Hello. Humans all over the globe have been and are still in terrible danger. Sub level B1. I feel extremely responsible. I never could have predicted he'd change so intensely. He was as close to perfect as I could ever have gotten. Sub level B2. Now, humanity's hiding and I'm at fault. I have to write this wrong, and hopefully, the answer is this confidential weapon. Sublevel B3. Don't concern yourself with the prototype Sentinels. They've been stripped of their offensive properties and artificial intelligence. Completely harmless. Ah, huh. well, oh. it seems these Umix may have some leftover neural security processes in their system. Like I said, Diagnostic scan complete. All systems offline. Okay. Stand down. We have some robots to my right hand side there. I created this shield barrier in order to protect myself and my work from any unwanted guests. Problem is, without my biological presence, the shield wall is designed to stay intact. Fortunately, you have been outfitted with a plasma cutter to slice an opening in the shield wall. Hold the trigger to activate the device and attach it to the center of the barrier, then use the cutting mechanism to create an opening. Ah! Okay, plasma cutter. Okay, we're cutting a hole. Pull it. Well done. You're nearly there. You just need to bypass the security protocols by using your wrist hacker on the terminal near the door. 
Okay, I guess we need to... Do I need that? Okay, we need to teleport yes. in here. As you hover your left arm over the screen, your hacking device will cycle through several access sequences. Make a fist to employ one of them. Okay, that's a really cool effect. So we're trying to hack. Wow, look at this giant mech behind me. He's uh, quite menacing. Okay, open door. Welcome back, Dr. Pandari. Okay, this looks pretty cool. Welcome to my lab. This is where I have designed and tested some of my most groundbreaking work. Hmm. My readings indicate there are minor damages to the facility surrounding the lab. This is most likely due to the terraforming done by the Humix in the area after the city was abandoned. Operative, you'll need to find and access the weapon blueprint of the terminal on the floor below. Take the stairs down and locate the terminal. Hopefully, it hasn't suffered damage as well. Okay. I might need to turn my graphic settings down a little bit. I might restart the game and choose uh, medium settings. I'm having uh, ever so slight stuttering issues. But then again it could be Windows 10 playing up again. As I feared, the data's been corrupted. My design was encrypted but it looks like it's still deteriorated due to the loss of power and structural damage of the base itself. You'll have to load up the testing missions I designed in order to recalibrate the weapon blueprint and gather any of the lost data before we can upload it to the HRF network. You'll be required to start with the draining mission first to familiarize yourself with combat and your arsenal. The missions can be accessed via the main terminal on the main platform. Once you've selected your mission, move to the center of the platform. Okay, so we need to select our mission. You are limited to where you can teleport. Okay. I've prepared the training section for you. The system will automatically detect your presence and generate the virtually simulated environment so you can begin. Okay, combat training, 10 waves. Mods, mission, stats, start. Okay, move to the center of the platform. One more thing. As you progress through the missions, you would unlock powerful modifications and stats to make yourself more effective in combat. I added these to make the weapon and its wielder as adaptive and versatile as possible. I will be monitoring your progress along the way. This will not be easy, but I am sure someone of your caliber is up to the task. Good luck, operative. Okay. Beam me up, Scotty! Hello, Operative. My name is A10D, and I'm here to attend to your every need. Get it? Eh? Well, anyway, I'm an AI created by Dr. Bhandari to help her testers through the simulation. Let's start by assembling the gauntlet on the table in front of you. Okay. Assemble your gauntlet, okay. Oops. Okay, this is uh, pretty cool so far. That goes in there somehow. Ah, okay. Graphics are really nice so far, super sharp, super clear on the Rift S. 
hardly any screen door at all. Okay, where's that go? Oh. Okay. I do like how you have to um, assemble your weapon before you can use it. It's a pretty cool idea. Okay, where do they go? One more piece to go. That goes on top there. Job done. Great. Wow. Now that that's done, try activating your shield. Hold your lower face buttons to activate your shield. Okay, there we go. Use your shields to protect yourself from incoming enemy fire. Okay. Be mindful of your shield integrity, Operative. You're more vulnerable to damage when your shields are broken. Whew. All right, we're getting the hang of things. So how about trying one of your weapons? Oh. Ah, the interrogator. Okay. Now that's a weapon that you do not want to be on the other side of. Go ahead and take it for a spin. Oh, that's pretty cool. That feels really nice. Look at that. You might be a little too cavalier with that weapon operator. The interrogator can overheat and lower the rate of fire if held for too long. Try firing in bursts to avoid overheating too often. Okay. Firing bursts. Combat feels really nice. And I've got one on this side as well. Look, if I hold down the um, grip button, I've got the same weapon twice. How cool is that? So I've got shield on either hand now as well. You can check out one of the other weapons in your tri weapon system. Just use the weapon wheel to select a pulsar. Okay, that's really cool. So I'm using my thumbstick to select different weapons. Oh, sorry. works a little differently. You'll need to charge your shot before firing the weapon. Short charges work, but they don't do as much damage compared to a fully charged shot. Okay, really cool effects here. He's down. Good work, operative. Now let's try out your final weapon, the projector. You'll be launching a grenade and controlling the detonation time. Be sure to detonate at the right moment. This weapon is great for bouncing off surfaces and hitting hard to reach areas. Okay, so if you let go of your button, Resistance the grenade explodes. I think you've got a good handle on your gauntlet now. Try it out on this next wave of enemies. Good luck! Teamic malfunction. Okay, let me grab my... Take out these bots. Resistance is the path to extinction. Terminate the human. I do like this place, don't you? Yeah, when you fire that weapon, when you let go of the trigger button, the uh, explodes look. Got him. Alright, your fluctuator is not so much a weapon, but a tool. However, if you get creative, then maybe you'll be able to get a little destructive with it. Okay, that's a really cool effect. Let's see how yeah. creative you can get with an enemy. Operator. Surrender is the less painful option. Okay, while aiming the fluctuator, hold the grip on to 
to suspend the target release to launch. Oh, there we go. It's like a gravity beam lock. To Wee. Human, the fluctuator will convert any damage the enemy takes to help for you. Grab him again. Throw him in there. Shoot him in there. Pretty cool. Sensor array malfunction. Okay, so I can shoot them. Can you do? Launching enemies drain it, so make sure to take breaks and let it recharge. We've got one more combat tool for you. Reach towards the center of your chest to grab the haptic dagger. Okay. This weapon will allow you to stun an enemy. It's certainly okay. useful for avoiding damage and managing the HR. Will be Okay, we have Surrender a dagger. Take advantage of that stunned enemy and shoot it. Okay, he's stunned. Hold on, operative. I'm picking up on some... Uh, nope. Guess not. Just a blip in the network. Anyway. Operative, okay. you down those mortar projectiles. I mean, unless you want an explosion of the base, you know what would be even cooler? Grab that mortar before it hits. Give that humac a taste of its own medicine. Okay, let's try and grab the mortar. Oh. Throw it back. Great work, operative. One more threat you'll need to concern yourself with are the elite enemies. Elites have a chance to appear based on your current mission difficulty. Stay vigilant of any enemies on the field, as elites are definitely more dangerous than normal enemies. So the elite. Resistance is the path to extinction. <laughs> okay. He died. Defeat these incoming enemies and you'll be all set to begin reconfiguring the gauntlet with them. Good luck, operative. Okay, let's kill these guys. Sensor array malfunction. Can I throw them? Yes, you can. Shield. Oh. Okay. He made me jump. Bye. Okay, mission complete. The game is saving. Good work. You should be well prepared for the combat challenges ahead of you. So let's take a This is where you'll be preparing yourself for the missions by customizing your weapons and stat allocations. This adjustment station has three interfaces. Missions, mods, and stats. To use your new weapon modification, you'll need to select the mod interface. Great! The weapon mod that you received was for the Gauntlet's core. Use the radial selector to select the core category. Okay. You should be able to see holographic representations of all the mods available to you. Right now, you've only unlocked one, so you cannot interact with the others yet. As you complete more missions, you'll be rewarded with more mods. For now, so that goes in there. I'd like to show you the stats interface as well. So please choose that option next. So I've now modified this weapon with a with a mod, fighting chance mod. The reason I'd like to show you this is because you also received an interrogator upgrade point from your last mission. You'll be able to use it if you select the interrogator category on the radial selector. Operative. Here is where you'll be able to customize your stat allocations. 
You should know that different stats have different upgrade costs, so you'll have to be aware of how much you're spending. Just grab the stat trackers and you can adjust your stats to your preferences. Don't worry, you can always change your mind and move the tracker back to its default position. The Gauntlet Blueprint needs to be recalibrated, and the only way to accomplish that is through completing these missions. The Gauntlet won't be released until you complete them all, which won't be the easiest task. Okay, so I've gone for a cooldown on the weapons. I've got no more points available. Each mission has a mutator that applies to all enemy humix within that section. You'll see an example of one on the mission interface. As you progress through a single mission, additional mutators will be applied to the enemy humix. We have to plan for every possible eventuality and anomaly in order to protect ourselves from the humix and Cypher himself. I've created enemies within the simulation that mimic some of the more dangerous allies of Cypher so that we can accurately work on strategies against them. When you complete missions, you'll be able to accrue progress towards one of these assailant missions. When you defeat these assailants, all the enemies within the simulation will upgrade to a new difficulty tier. When you're happy with your stat allegations and weapon modifications, then please re-enter the simulation. We'll now be able to begin the process of data recalibration for the weapon blueprint. It's going to be a difficult process, but I have faith that you'll prevail, Operative. Well, let's start and see what happens. Okay, we're in the uh, diagnostic lab for my shield. Take this guy out. Okay, can I move? I don't think I can move from this uh, location. Okay, this is quite hard. Let me grab him. Can I throw him over there? Okay, he's quite hard. Let's go for my... Achievements unlocked. He's quite tough. Let me try and grab his projectile off. Throw them back at him. He's really, really hard. Okay, shields are down. We will destroy the HRF. I can shoot two projectiles out of the sky. Let's try and grab one again. Throw it back at him. Okay, he's dead. Wave two or three. Dr. Bandari is counting on you. I died. I got shot and died. Okay, how do I exit this simulation? Mission failed. Okay, you have to shoot the bubble to exit.
Okay, so we've got a random mutator. Okay, let's jump into the next mission. It looks like there's uh, random mutators. This time we've got elite heavies. So let's start. Okay, we're now on the ground floor. Can I move around? I don't think I can move. The uh, teleport is not working. Okay, wave one of three. Shields. Okay, let me grab my... I'm still getting used to the uh, controls. Resistance is the path to extinction. The HRF will be eliminated. Surrender is the less painful option. Okay. Major Let's check these two out with the to extinction. Push him out. I'm gonna grab him. Okay, I used him to deflect the rocket that was coming in. And yes, you can shoot the rocket. Come here. Oh, he's a bit close. Where's my dagger? I missed. Okay, stunned. Stunned him. Okay, wave two of three. We need to get that uh, weapon. Major malfunction I'm getting a feel of the game now. It's pretty cool. Okay, someone attacked me from the side there. It's one of those games that will take a while to get used to. Okay, where's my other weapon? I do like the uh, slowdown effect as well. Come here. Attack your friend. He uh, smashed on the ceiling. My health slow. Okay, I need to grab them to get my to get my health back. I forgot to uh, levitate the guy to get my health back. So we're going to jump into one more mission. I'm getting the hang of the game now. I think you need to complete one of the waves to get your upgrades. So this time we've got um, Elite Brawlers. Let's just start, see what happens. Okay, we're in a corridor. Wave one of four. Surrender is the last pain. I do like this uh, laser weapon. Terminate the human. The HRF will be in 
I think I'm going to use a, a different weapon on my left hand. Like the. Uh, Die. Okay. Wave two. Stay back. No mercy. I can see this game's got quite a bit of strategy. Okay. Sensor array malfunction. Major malfunction. It's not as easy as it looks, guys. You're having to um, work out which guy to kill. You have to dodge the fire. Resistance is the path to extinction. Okay, come to me. Sensor array malfunction. My house on 62%. The orbs floating here allow you to choose the next room for you to complete. I'm sure you can see the information about the upcoming rooms and the mutator tied to it. However, the more difficult the mission, the less information you'll have, so that we can test the quick thinking capabilities of our weapon testers. To select the room you wish to complete next. Let's okay, let's go orbs. for data storage. Let me do a diagnostic scan operative. For you to worry about. I'll get back to you on that later. Okay, data storage. Okay, we have droids, incoming droids. Guy there with a laser beam. Ah! The spider jumped to me. I need to kill that guy. Oh, yeah. Okay, I need to kill that guy up there, look. Try and get a shot in over the top. Take him out. One more. Got him. Oh, crikey. Ah. Come here, you. Okay, you can block the laser. <laughs> okay, he's out. Okay, final wave. 22% health. I need some health. Come here. Sensor array malfunction. Terminate the human. Major malfunction detected. I don't think I can block the... Uh, I don't think I can block his laser fire. Ugh. Come here. Okay. 
Take him out. Come on, 1% health. Come here. I can't grab them too far away. Come on, 1% health, guys. I'm gonna die. So close. Okay guys, I'll leave it there. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Be sure to hit my little bell. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.